Hey guys and welcome back to Landstrider's Future Edge server. Future Edge of course being a mod pack available on the Curse, uh, Curse Launcher. I managed to make it the whole way through the entire first episode last time without even mentioning that. I'm a bad, bad YouTuber. Also, all the YouTubers that are also on this server, uh, links are down in the description from the last episode and this one of course. In between time, I've been going around and doing a little bit of farming. You'll notice I've picked up some chickens. Uh, they did not come from far. If I pull open my journey map, they were actually ooh, literally just here. J just on that bit there. So I have not had far to travel with them at all. What are we going to be doing today? We are going to be first completing a few individual quests that will help our lives become a little bit easier things like getting the cooking on the go getting this sword done storage and highly useful plant but after that i will also be completely ripping down this village and starting my first big construction um as i've been saying for a while we're probably going to do that in the form of time lapse. but first let's get inside and see exactly what it is we need now one of the first press the wrong button one of the first things we want to do is get on this defend yourself i've been out a few times now gone down into uh, into mine shafts and had myself a thoroughly good time but it has been dangerous it has been super super dangerous so it wants me to make a stone sword we can definitely make a stone sword let's just scroll a few of these out of my inventory and come over to my crafting bench where all amazing things happen all right we've got the time to strike achievement as well that is Definitely one that we want to get on our way through to, well, great and amazing things. So when I handed in that sword, one of the uh, rewards it gave me was a stone sword with smite three on it and unbreaking one. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. But the other quest that I completed last time, we've now got three quarters of a heart. Just unbelievable. I know, Garfield, what are we going to do with all these? Well, when we get four, we're going to combine them to... Oh. I didn't know you two were twins. Garfield, why, why are you holding back from me, man? Is there, there, How many other family members do you have here? Uh, you got, you got to tell me these things. I, that completely threw me off. I have no idea what I was talking about beforehand. Uh, let's <clears throat> move on. Oh, I was talking about the hearts, and of course there is a life counter somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Is it in story mode? Ah, oh, we were supposed to read this... When we woke up, uh, th this was something that we were supposed to go through. Me and Landstrider talked about it, and I was supposed to read this at the end of the first episode last time. But as I said, I got so overwhelmed and excited about coming and doing new projects and playing with new friends that I completely forgot to do all the standard things that I have to do in a first episode. So, we awaken naked in the wilderness near some wreckage. Nothing left of use. We move on, driven some by some in basic instincts to survive. Our head swells with random memories of the past, broken and fragmented. Upon our awakening, strange figures have stalked us from afar, tracking us as we lurch through this hostile o o oasis. Will we ever find out their exact intentions? Who can say? For now, we should focus on surviving. Maybe along the way, we'll recover fragments of the memories we may not ever have held. Ooh, I mean, that's good. That's good. So, little checked up. So, we did that and we wandered around. And then, lurching through these deep forested jungles, we stumb stumbled across a bustling village, as you can see all around me, inhabited by some seemingly normal human beings. These natives welcomed us with opened arms. We conversed with several to get as much information as we could. Most just babbled on about how life was so fantastic. On one random encounter, we saw a human being torn asunder while still conversing to the man standing next to him, oblivious to the fact that he was being eaten alive. Luckily, we found a few who weren't so tied up with life. According to what we could gather, these inhabitants lived a life blissful in blissful luxury, even with the terrible monsters mucking around beyond the borders. We couldn't understand why they didn't just live in absolute terror. The few dreadful creatures we encountered along the way were amply equipped to mangle flesh or eviscerate entire bodies. We pondered as to why there were so many hostile creatures seemingly designed to evict anything made of flesh from its existence. However, this was yet another question without answer. Though, we will, though will we ever find the answer? Ooh. Well, we don't have primitive tech to read that one. But that was pretty good. Hey. Like, we, we've, we've woken up from our time after post for them. 
And we, we've come out wandering around seeing what's going on. Because obviously once post for them was... Oh, you guys. You guys, what is going on here? Once post for them was finished, we went back to our deep storage. You know, the spaceship on the hill, on the mountain. And uh, took our leave of this world. Our job was done and we needed to move on to new challenges, new pastures. Th th see what happened to this civilization that we created and see how far it has come. Oh, we've got some mature food. Okay, so I'm going to collect up some food, try and figure out what my plans are for doing these next quests. I believe the majority of it is wood, and I do have some wood going, but maybe not enough to finish all the quests. Oh, man, I was going to go ahead and finish the Pam's Harvest Craft uh, quest line off, like, off camera, because we've done this as a gaming group many, many times before. You guys don't need to see the crafting ingredients for that again. But whilst doing so, I made a shovel to go and get some clay, because well, that's what we need for Bakeware, but I managed to do this in the meantime. I didn't even know this was a quest to be done, but so we did that, and I'm going to choose a stone pickaxe with efficiency. I didn't even know that this was going to be a thing. Yeah, stone pickaxe with efficiency. Awesome. Great things. We've done the de uh, defend yourself quest line, so there seems to be a lot of tie-in between uh, some of the quest lines and... Uh, some other quest line. If you see what I said, there's a lot of crossover on the go. Now, there is a need for clay. And thankfully, in this area around here, we do have a lot of clay. I believe that's actually sand. Yes, it is. But down this way, in this corner here, we have some clay going down. So let me grab a few. Pop them in to cook. And we will be back when I've made this. And that should be... Everything needed in the quest line here. So now I can feed myself well. And that is kind of one of the things. Oh, block of iron or some delightful meals. That's definitely what I want. They're all about getting the food. Now that I've got some food, I think my next plan is to go out and explore around a little bit. Now, I know a lot of people have explored down here. S Gaming in particular has explored down here a lot. Uh, the Canadians have gone up that way. I'm not quite sure who actually counts as the Canadians in the group. I will have to find out the specific name. This is only the second day I've been on. This looks like a nice place to go explore. And I think south is a good place as well. So I'm going to uh, explore around, get myself situated. And if I find anything interesting, I will bring you back. I tell you, I love playing on multiplayer servers, but trying to find a dungeon that other people haven't already been into is nigh on impossible. You can see I've got 3.2 kilometers away, and we found a shack where the cake has not been touched. So I think we're going to go down a little bit. The first thing I want to do is try and offload a few of these things. You see, I'm not going to be hurting for bees anytime soon. Oh, and before I left, I made myself an extra one of these out of all my quest rewards. Yeah, so we got we got a life to go down and play around with. I think the first thing I want to do, as they have kindly provided me with a craft bench here, is just to offload a few things that I, I could do with not completely losing. I'm going to keep hold of those. Uh, the food is going to stay on me and the bed could go as well. I wish I had I made myself a... Uh, what's the... What's the thing you block with? A shield. I wish I'd made myself a shield. Thankfully, they've provided me all the stuff that I need here to make one. So uh, just give me a few seconds and I will be back with the ability to defend myself. Okay, who knows what horrors we're going to find in there. And we have completed another quest. Now, I think I know where this quest is. You see we've got the gear line here. Yes, shields up complete. Okay, what we're going to get? A heart... We get to pick a book of some description. I think I'm going to save those until we get home, but I'm probably going to have that protection book out of everything. Okay, my hot bar could definitely be better arranged for going down into badness. Uh, one of these is always going to be in my offhand. We're going to start with the torches because you never know what we're going to find down there. And I can definitely do with a small snack. It's going to have to be one of the... Ah, oh, that's not the best timing for it. I'm going to eat a fish sandwich instead. Yeah, that'll do. The reason it's not the best timing is the maca meat there has regen on it or absorption, one of those. In fact, I think it's regen and absorption now that I mention that. Uh, so it would be nice to keep that for needing it. Okay, what do we have here? We've got spiders and a spawn box. Now, the reason I've brought these torches is mainly to disable spawn boxes. Now, is he going to be coming at me? We, he is, but I should be able to protect myself because there's no way he can trip through this gap. That is good and great and amazing. 
should we do a run, a dash run? I don't know. I don't know. Losing the... He doesn't seem to be all that bothered by me. Let's just come in here and place these quick. Yeah, if you could just keep out of my way, I would be ever so grateful. So we have a cake room, we have a glowstone room. Uh, I don't see anything nasty on my radar, so I'm not going to worry too much about what's around me. There's no way that that, trap, that chest is trapped. In fact, I should somewhere on me. Oh, look. I've got some leather boots. Slowly building up my equipment as we go. We're just going to knock out a few of these things to make sure this isn't trapped. Oh, I will take all of that. Thank you. A protection book and stuff like that. Is there a quick take everything out of the, the chest key? I know there is. I know that there is a key out there that will do everything that I want it to do. Uh, unfortunately, I just, I just don't know what it is. Cake. Nice. Okay, let's move on and see what else we can do. This spider spawner is going to be useful at some point. Everyone needs string after all. I have no way of defending myself. Let's make our way down here and see what we got. Not much water. This must be the privy. Must be the privy. Are we, are we actually full on under the ocean here? I think we are. Do not take out any of the... Let's put that there. Any of the gravel that I see. Because if I do that, then I'm probably going to end up inviting the ocean in like has happened here. Look at that. That's what this gravel block is about, I'm sure. Verdant Cinder. Well, that sounds scary. What does this do? What does this do? If I come through and dig into the, the side here, what are we going to see? A little bit worried. So that's a torch. Where does the torch go? The torch is on. Why would the torch be on? Hmm, a little confused here. I'd like to know what's going More torches? Where? Where's it going? Where's it go? If I take out a bit of redstone here, it's going to be bad. So it literally goes up to that redstone lamp up there. If I come around the back, we've got the torches coming up, and it just goes in a little line there. Now, there could be something on the other side. In fact, should we just double check? Like I can think of all sorts of horrible ways of this not being what I think it is. So let's just double check. I mean, there could be TNT on the other side. There's not TNT on the other side. I'm super, super um, afraid of traps and stuff that could be down here after losing so much stuff in post for them to the random explosions and stuff. I mean, it's all good fun, but it makes you a little bit wary from that point on. 38 torches left and the inability to break an iron bar. It's doing me well doing me well so we've got another one here turn it on yeah okay this is doing good there is a way down here that's nice probably not what we actually want to do though uh the further down you get the more dangerous things get that it's gonna lead to my death at some point let's put that block there always nice to have a few blocks didn't mean to run down here but hey i got excited death is down this one here we know this we know this. There's a, a room to go in and have a sleep. Okay, that's nice. Let's close this door up quickly. Once again, quick check of the chest. Make sure it's not going to blow me up. Oh, wow. Look at all this. What's this statistics book? Let's have it open. Architecture's resource notes. There are 7, uh, 79,000 stone bricks, 119,000 cobblestone, 397 logs, 699 iron bars, Wow, 133 mob spawn, 133 mob spawners. Wow, we're going to have to be aware then. I'm going to take this iron axe, that looks good. Um, I would ideally like to take it all. I, oh, pumpkin seeds, you're killing. Oh wait, no, pumpkin seeds were the ones that we needed, I remember now. I'm going to take the stone bricks, they're going to be useful at some point. Same with the string. Uh, this bow, oh yeah, this bow, so let's move that along there. I don't have any arrows, but I'm fairly sure we can correct that as we are out and about. Okay, so now that I've practically cleared this one completely out, the next question is, do we go down the next level? I think we're going to go down the next level. We're going to at least go and have a look. Is it going to be instant death? Here is the question. I'm not sure what I would do if I did just instantly die out this way. Uh, I would probably sail back in some manner. Uh, so what have we got? We've got... A jukebox over that way, maybe? Dark and death over that way, and dark and death over that way. Let's let's take the bait. Let's take the bait. That really does look like it's just there to lure me in. Uh, we've got a lot of spiders. Okay, and we've got a lot of other stuff. Uh, I've not swapped my thing. Okay. My thing, of course, being my offhand. There we go. Oh, you get boots off the spiders. That's where you get them from. Okay. With that zombie being locked there, we're all good. Just wait for him to knock. Oh. 
approach from behind. And now I'm kind of stuck in somewhere. This is not good. We've got to get out. Let's try and break out of here. Okay, it's all good. Kill that spider. Okay, there should be... What is this? There's a spirit. Can I eat it? I can't eat it. That's a little unfortunate. I do like to eat my spirits. Uh, we've got more spiders. Uh, more spiders that I can deal with, possibly. Let's get around... Ah, let's fall down the hole then, shall we? What have we got to worry about? All sorts of stuff. Okay, time to run away and be free. They can't get through this bit, right? Oh. Yeah, Mac and me. It's what it's all about. So, get him. Get him. Oh, get wrecked, man. Get wrecked. Okay, so they can make their way through that. That's okay, though. That's okay. There should be another spider here. That if we're quick, we can deal with. And then, look at this. All right, great. That's that one taken care of. That was a little intense. Oh, hey. What's going on up there, dude? Do you want to come and join the party? Yes, he does. Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's see if we can't drop some torch. Uh, it was a little bit longer down there than I really, really wanted to spend. Uh, this looks scary and nice. There's even a, a box there. Well, not box. What are they called? Chests. There's chests everywhere. Okay, cool. I think we're going to be all right. <laughs> look at this one. I think we're going to clear out level 2 without any hassle. I will bring you back if hassle arrives. Okay, I can't quite get into this one, but I can raid the box. So we'll go with that. And I'll take some torches and a bit of bone meal. Nice. All right, get out of here. Snowball. Black. <laughs> ah, get out of here. Taste my shiny metal axe. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, well, I did wonder what was going to happen if I died. And it turns out I now will find out. Oh, I'm all the way here. Did I not sleep? Oh, no, my bed had got taken with me. Okay, guys, well, I suppose we're going to have to deal with this. I'm going to make myself a boat, go all the way back, go and get my stuff, and then go home because I obviously had gone further than I uh, was capable of. <laughs> All right, we've got here again. Let's do this. I think the first thing I need to do is sort out my inventory. Okay, there it is. I don't see anything or anyone around. Did the spider die after it had me? That, that would be a little bit unfortunate. Okay, there's a few more things on the go. Let's put stuff like this and some boots on. Can I, can I get some boots? I want the... I don't want the button. Uh, protection, protection. Well, if only I had a way of... Uh, putting them together. I think I can get rid of a bit of paper and obviously the rotten flesh as well. Um, paper, rotten flesh. What is this? A medical tincture. We don't need the gravel. Okay, that should do me. And I'm away. Of course, the choices of what to take with me are quite difficult. We're going to end up leaving this stuff behind and taking this stuff with me. Uh, maybe we could have, like, traded out the cracked stone. In fact, I'm going to trade the cracked stone for the actual stone brick. But we, we could do something better here. Like, mainly by putting something in my offhand. I completely forgot that. We'll take this book with us because that's the important one, right? Okay, I'm going to leave one of these here and go back home. Look at it. Over there, mocking me. Oh, it's, it's disgusting. Uh, much like post Finem, I am going to make a grave for all my past clones. Uh, and we will get rid of the waypoint here when that happens. But we're not going to do that right now because obviously the entire village is going to get leveled at some point. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to say at some point because I have almost completely run out of time on this episode. And I don't think... That I would give enough time for a time lapse at the moment. So there are a few things I want to do before we wrap up the episode. The first I want to do is show you all these pillars around everywhere. I have been preparing for the time lapse. I've got everything marked out and stuff. As you can see, it goes from one edge to the other. It also goes all the way over to the graveyard. And we were stood next to one when we were going, hey, look at that over there. Also, I forgot to mention that I've been di mining down below. Found myself a mine shaft complete with diamonds and lapis in the mine shaft chests. There is also something else I want to do. I killed a chupacabra while I was out and about. Oh, look. Child's doll. Anyway, uh, I was um, killing chupacabra when I was out and about. And look at this. Scaly flesh that oozes with blood. Eating it raw causes terrifying hallucinations. To me... That sounds like a great way to finish this episode. And um, why should we not do it? I'm not sure if it's going to show up whilst we're on F5 like this. Ooh. Oh, man. Terrifying hallucinations. What do I see inside? I am floating. I, I have no control. Is that what that did? 
<laughs> that wasn't quite as terrifying as I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting some like bad guy to appear, much like when we started getting insane in post for them when the uh, sanity meter drained down and you started seeing creepers everywhere and the the noises for stuff was all around you. You know, like caves and lava and explosions and things like that. Creeper noises, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I have actually run out of time for this episode now, so I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time. Where I am actually going to start with a time lapse because I think that's one of the things that I do best. And right now, at the end of an episode, is not the place to try and put one in for lots of people to see it. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! I can't do the sword waggle anymore. Bye!